What's up, guys? Welcome back to Whiskey Dixon. I'm Sugar Bear. I'm, I'm, I'm Kurt. Kurt. We're drinking Mortlack 15 year Game of Thrones edition, uh, Six Kingdoms, Golden Raven. You know, the, <laughs> the theme song. Um, comes in at 46%, 92 proof. I like that. This one's the highest price, right? It is. Yeah. This one, when they first released it, like a year, only like a year ago, I think. I mean, 2019 is when they released these. Um, this started out at like 150 bucks. Seems like a lot, but Mortlack has a 16 year out that I believe you pay about the same. It's like 140. So Mortlack is not known as like a cheap distillery. Um, what's cool is right now. Everyone's trying to get rid of the Game of Thrones whiskey. So I've seen, I've still seen this for 150, but I've seen it as, you know, half of that. We we were able to get this for 75 wow. here in town at Michael's Market. So Decent. go go get in on that. The cheapest I saw, I think, was 100 or 95. Yeah, this is this is the most expensive of all the the Game of Thrones. Um, it's one of the only ones I haven't tried yet. Got like four or five of them. Oh, I love Mortlack. Like it's a distillery. I, try to buy anything I see from them because very unique. They use a bunch of different size stills and they distill half of their whiskey three times, half of their whiskey twice, and then they blend it to create 2.8 time distilled whiskey. Like that's, they, they overcomplicate 2 it. 2.8. Yeah, it's 2.81 2 to be specific. Science. And there's a lot of weird science going on here. Now, actually what's interesting it's finished in bourbon casks, but it spends most of its time in sherry casks. It's like mostly sherry It's aged. kind of the opposite. It's exactly the opposite. It's the opposite of what I'm And noticing. I thought you would kind of end up with the same result. I feel like this is weird, Very actually. Like, like, you can smell sherry. Doesn't smell like a normal, like, thick... No, it's not like sherry. raisiny or syrupy. Mmm. Is really nice on the palate. It's super oaky, a lot more tannic than most uh, Scotch whiskey, I would say. A bit more of like a bitter oak. Yeah, I feel like the flavor tastes lighter than it looks. Exactly. I feel like so, it's kind of a dark color for the fr flavor profile. What a lot of people said about this is they believe that, because if you think about it, most of the time you age whiskey in a bourbon cask, you finish it in sherry. When you do the opposite, it almost like takes away from the sherry. It doesn't even taste that sherried, even though it spent most of its time. It almost eliminates it on the nose. Kinda, oh, it yeah. kinda, oh, that, oh. that was a lot of people's complaint with this whiskey is that like, by reversing the order that you put the whiskey into the casks, it kinda subdues all the work that the sherry cask was doing for, you know, like 12 years or whatever. Which I kind of agree with, but I think it's a fun experiment. Like, it's interesting to see I, them do it the other way I definitely around. like this better than most bourbon barrel finished scotches I can think of. A lot of them are a little too bourbony for me. I normally like yeah, It doesn't cherry, taste like bourbony. This one is, uh, no, this one's nice. It's it's unique. It's got a kind of interesting taste. It has that classic Mortlack, like, cognac grape note that I attribute with just all Mortlack whiskeys. And it's got a nice body too. It's got a thick, rich body, um, which again, that's like a Mortlack. And Mortlack's known for being, as Speysides go, one of the more heavier bodied whiskeys. Um, that's tasty. Good long finish, good mouthfeel, oily. Not got, super oily, but. It's got like a light flavor, but it's such a long finish for like how light of it's the strange. Nice flavor it is. It's strange. Yeah. It's, it's because of Doing the barrels in the opposite order you normally would. I'm trying I would to love to flavors. I'm kind of having trouble. It just tastes kind of like nice bourbon finished. Well, do you get that like that grape note, that cognac note? A little bit, but not like as Hennessy. Not as sweet as the cognac finished mm. one. You mm. know, not as sweet as a sherry. No, no, no. Just like a little. That's like a Mortlack thing. They all have just that little bit of that grape note. It's, it's got like a little bit of smokiness, but not. Not, not in peat. the way I would say like wood smoke. Yeah, not not like the smoke I'm used to. In I would scotch. say like burnt wood smoke. Yeah. I think it's just a barrel. I think it's just bourbon cask. Maybe they charred the bourbon. 
podcast. I'm sure, yeah, they, they definitely did. So it's a different a different type of smoke than I'm used to in scotch. It's a very different whiskey, really, I when you think about more, it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Mortlack, I explained it in the other review we did, but Mortlack, the name is actually the original Gaelic name for Dufftown, which is where this distillery comes in. This is the first and oldest distillery in Dufftown, and since then, you know, Glenfiddich, Balvenie, Glendalen, uh, Singleton, they've all popped up in Duff. Dufftown's kind of known as like the heart of space, so that's where like the most distilleries are. And uh, this is the OG, this is the, the granddaddy of all of them. I like it. Yeah. Now, I don't know how much of this, like of Mortlack goes into Johnny Walker. I feel like not a lot. I know it's not a very large distillery and they're making their whiskey so in such a unique, weird way that I actually do think they are mostly selling them as single malts. Um, but I imagine a, a certain percentage is getting blended into certain Johnny Walkers. Couldn't tell you which ones. Um, but I like it. All in all, yeah. it's good. 150 bucks. I would not be happy <laughs> with this. It's good. It's not that good. 75 is it, about right. It's I good. Think. It's just not what I would pick for the hundred dollar range. No, 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 no. But uh, I am glad I got to try it though, because I tried pretty much all the other Game of Thrones. I, I wish they had more about the whiskey Game of Thrones and hype lately. less about Game of Thrones on here. Yeah, they put a, they put much. info about both, but yeah. yeah. The the first half because of a lot of the people, literature is I feel like, Game of Thrones. I've never seen the show, but I like their whiskey. Yeah, I feel like this is to get people, either whiskey drinkers who don't know anything about Game of Thrones may would be interested, or the other way around, where it's like they're trying to get the Game of Thrones people into whiskey. Um, I don't know. I just like the Game of Thrones stuff right now because it's cheap. And it's good. So, yeah. Yeah, the, all the prices have dropped significant, substantially on all the Game of Thrones stuff. So, Only time I've ever gotten Lagavulin for, for 32 bucks. Exactly. Thanks, like, thanks, Game of Thrones. Thanks, Game of Thrones. Thank you. Also, it's actually a pretty good show. You should check it out. Sometime. Oh, it is really long. Um, I like this. It's good. It's nutty. Actually, no, I think about that's, it. That's the good flavor profile. I was having trouble pinpointing something. Fruity, nutty, spicy. A little bit of cognac, that little cognac grapey note. And then it's good long finish. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I'm happy like with it. it. Uh, 75 bucks. So that's about right. Uh, well, if you like this, smash that like button. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Give us some fun comments. Let us know. Kind of like what else you want to see us review. Um, but uh, I'm Sugar Bear. I'm Kurt. That's Kurt. And uh, we are Whiskey Dixon. Until next time, cheers. Slancha. Salute. Keep on drinking. <laughs>